Hey guys, this is Eckhart's Letter. Hello and welcome to another Clone Wars lore video. Before we get into it, some people have been asking about my takes on the first episode of Season 7. First of all, I usually deal with small questions like that on Twitter, so I'll put a link if you want to follow me there. But just generally, I thought the episode was great. I was really, really impressed with the visuals, especially the stuff we got around in Naxis at the very beginning, and I have really, really high hopes for the final season. I do hope that the Bad Batch somehow figures into what happens, perhaps with Order 66 or the evolving story of this season, and I hope it's not just, well, an independent arc. Speaking of arcs, today we'll be talking about Captain Rex and his involvement, or perhaps lack thereof, in the Advanced Recon Commando programming. Now, in a prior video, I did mention that both Legends and Canon have technically classified him as at the very least related to the arc program. Today, we'll be taking a deeper look and exploring specifically whether he was or was not an actual arc. So let's start with the arguments for him being an arc, and we'll start specifically with Star Wars canon. Now, arc troopers don't have a lot of material in canon. We know basically that being an arc is a rank or perhaps a privilege that can be granted to specific clones if they show battlefield bravery. We know that it probably involves additional training and is given to clones of high skill, and also from the Galactic Atlas, we know specifically that Captain Rex is a loyal, brave ARC trooper. Now, this was written after Season 6 of The Clone Wars, but obviously before Season 7, and what's interesting about this is not only that the book is indisputably canon, but also that Jesse is listed as an ARC trooper, and now in Season 7, Jesse has new ARC-like armor. To me, that does indicate that the book probably has some information about The Clone Wars, perhaps some that even we're not privy to. And and the idea of arcs being associated with more elaborate armor is one of the reasons why I always just kind of assumed that Rex was an arc trooper. Many arcs have pauldrons, they have the comma, which is sort of like a battle skirt, and they often use extra pouches. All of these qualities were first found in the original arcs in Star Wars Legends, and have been predominantly used by arcs in canon as well. As a note about Jesse though, it is possible that the Atlas did base their information on the unfinished reels for The Clone Wars Season 7, but either way, I do accept this as canon. It doesn't seem like the book was haphazardly thrown together or like it was a mistake. In Star Wars Battlefront 2, we also see ARC troopers use the dual pistols, much like Captain Rex. Again, that's not determinative, but the fact that even a clone officer was able to use such a, well, unique weapon loadout suggests to me that he had extra training and was trusted with the skills to do so effectively. But we'll come back to canon when we talk about negatives, let's now look to Star Wars Legends. And one of the main arguments for Rex being an arc is the fact that he was originally based off the character of Alpha from the Star Wars Republic comics. Alpha was one of the first non-null arcs, i.e. in Alpha Advanced Recon Commando, and given the blue highlights on his armor and his connection with Anakin and Obi-Wan was pretty similar to Rex in a lot of regards. However, according to DVD commentary on the Clone Wars, ultimately Rex was made a distinct character because Lucas didn't want three characters whose name started with A, that would be Ahsoka, Anakin, and Alpha, in the same TV show, for I think obvious reasons. Still, it seems like Rex was very heavily modeled after the character, so it would make sense that he too was an ARC trooper. But Legends, like canon, also has some more direct sources. Most relevant, I think, are two issues of Star Wars Fact File. Specifically, we have part 2 of the first issue of the relaunch, and then also issue 69. 69 is kind of a weird one because it's supposed to be canon, but has some information I've only seen in there, so I'm not sure if it's based on legend stories, so we'll talk about issue 1 first. Issue 1 is actually about Cody, and talks about how he, Rex, and others actually went through ARC training. Basically, because he was excelling during the Clone Wars, he was selected and brought back to Kamino, where he was trained by Alpha-17, the clone who I mentioned earlier. The focus on ARC training was thinking independently and extra creativity, which were two key attributes of the genetically engineered ARC troopers, and during this time, Cody made friends with Rex, and it says the two would go on to work together often, obviously. Now, does this sort of training actually make Cody and Rex ARC troopers? Well, perhaps. It depends, I think, really on how you define ARC Trooper. One thing you need to understand that Legends doesn't 
actually show you is that initially ARC troopers were actually genetically modified. They weren't just normal clones with extra training. So from that perspective, Rex could never be an ARC trooper, but the same could also be said about Fives. So we kind of have to guess, is it the fact, in Legends at least, that Rex was simply a given additional training because he was a commander and that's why he never became a full ARC trooper? Or is it the case, and this is how I choose to understand it, that Rex had all of the tools and perhaps privileges of an ARC as we see with, for example, his armor, but instead, because he excelled in a leadership position, he chose to identify himself as a captain. In Legends, this would be the same thing with Cody. The the distinction is that while Rex has the skills to be an ARC, he instead chooses to implement them as a leader, rather than how I'd expect an ARC to be basically a super elite soldier, if that makes any sense. And I mean, just from a logical perspective, when we look at the Clone Wars, it makes no sense why Fives would be made an ARC trooper, but someone like Rex would not. Rex is more accomplished, he seems to be more skilled, and he operates in an extremely high position of authority, given his rank. There's also the fact that Cody and Rex bestow the position of ARC to Fives and Echo. Issue 69 of the Star Wars Fact File similarly says because Rex excelled in combat, he was pulled from his unit and dropped into the advanced Recon Commando program. He quickly befriended another clone, Cody, and as a reward for graduating the ARC training program, was given the nickname Rex. It also says because he was spotted early as a potential leader, he received additional training and was one of the first batch of 100 ARC troopers. So that's a lot of evidence for Rex being an ARC trooper. I think the main evidence to the contrary is a single line from the first episode of season 6, where when 5, Rex, and Anakin are together, Rex states in reference to Fives, that's why he's the ARC trooper. Now, based on everything, that's not reconcilable with either canon or legends, so I choose to understand that simply as referencing the fact that Fives is on a day to day basis acting as an ARC trooper on the field. Rex, while technically being an ARC, has fallen sort of into a command role. So that's where the distinction comes from. At least that's my opinion. Curious to hear what you guys think about this topic. Does your headcanon have Rex, and also Cody, as ARC troopers? Or do you think there's something distinct between someone who passes ARC training and someone who's called an ARC trooper? Certainly I think their responsibilities are different, but I also don't think you'd be wrong to technically call either of them ARCs. However, again, just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Hope you have a great one. And as always, may the force be with you.